Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is our Champions Path series, where we are following champions from the uh, tournaments, their entire path. And we are now into Baku Grand Slam 2023 Women's Under 48 Kilogram Division. We're following cha the champion Assunta Scuto from Italy and her journey uh, from the very first match all the way to her championship. So let's jump into the match and let's give it a go. We're going to be joining joining Asunta Scuto uh, in her first match in action uh, against Marusa Stangar from Slovenia. Okay. I like this it's pretty defensive uh from Marusa there. Her posture is really um very back. Oh, is that the Wazari? Okay. That is the game uh Oh, that is the Wazari for Asunta. Okay, let's have a look at that Wazari. I... <laughs> it's really a reversal, like... Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I stand corrected. She hooks the ankle from behind, and uh, yeah, that <laughs> that's good. And it's a continuous motion, and uh, really, it's a nice little tricky uh, throw that she had there. Now. To be fair, this match actually goes on, and uh, uh, Barusa is able to score Wazari later, so it gets into a uh, win by Sh uh, Shido. So Asunta actually wins on Shido's, but I wanted to at least highlight the the uh, the throw there. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, joining in for the second round, Asunta Scuto is in the white against uh, Shira Rishoni from Israel in the blue. We're joining them in action. They both got two Shidos at this point. This is sort of just a drag down, but uh, she landed on her belly, so obviously no score there. Oh, down in the last three seconds. happening nothing right come on okay wasari whoa whoa, whoa whoa okay hold on i didn't think that was wasari was that wasari okay let's see that oh okay so they i don't like that. Okay. This. I really don't even know how much of a throw that is, but okay. All right, whatever. You know the video review and their ultimate judgment. It was Ari. I think that's that's real borderline. Okay. Let's keep it going. There's only 30 seconds left. How does Asunta dig herself out of this? Pretty massive hole, to be honest. Oh, okay. Some good attacks from her. Oh, she's really trying. There it is. There's the Wazari to tie it up. That was definitely. I don't know what Shira is like doing there. <laughs> Why are you messing around with time? Okay, so let's have a look. 
Okay, actually, she was able to avoid uh, some throws pretty well. Yeah, she screws up pretty bad, actually. Like, if you look at what Shira is doing here, I don't know why. Who in the world told you to do that? Okay, she's down on her knees. Just stay here, okay? Stay here, put weight down, eat clock. What are you doing? Okay, that's mistake number one, not staying there and wasting time, okay? And even if they call, you know, mate, cool. You know, walk over. Don't get the grip immediately. Like, you're down to, like, 30 seconds, right? So, every second counts. Okay, mistake number one. Right, let's see. Then, bizarrely, I don't know what she's trying to do. But you see this? What is this doing here? What are we trying to do here? Like, w even if you're trying to do some sort of like sumagash maybe or something, this like doesn't need to be here like this. What are we doing over here? This maybe you could do something, but God, why take the risk? I don't understand. Okay, so anyways, bam, that's very clearly a wasari, and uh, Asunta goes on to win via uh, Shido as well, the third Shido against Shira. Um, because she ends up touching the pants. So, um, at least wanted to show you the, the Wazari, the action, and let's move on to the next round. Okay, the third round, Asunta Scuto is still in the white, and she's facing Laura Martinez Abelenda from Spain. In blue. So, thought that was like self-explanatory, but okay. Nice, oh, nice. Okay, okay. I like it. Ochi to right into the Sayonagi. Okay. Oh, as Osakomi is called. It's a very weak hold down. Okay, that's broken. I don't think there's a score there. I don't see a score being awarded. I don't think that's anything. Okay, and there's no score. Cool. It's an awkward hold down though, really, right? So, uh, okay. Oh, hello. Is that, that's like such a, <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's go back. Can we see, can we have a little, another look at that? That was so slick, that little Katakuruma. Okay, oh, I like it. Okay, so really bent over position. And uh, Laura Martinez Abalenda comes in. The work that's being done is actually with this right arm, though. That's what's really pulling her down. The head is coming in up and over this way. Just enough. And then it's going, and she's rotating the body. Love it. Love to see that. So cool. So, so cool. And now... The was now Asunta is be is behind Wazari, so she's got a uh, quite a hole to dig out of here. Laura, that was slick. I, I like to see it, especially with a, a bit of a shorter player there. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe she's not that much shorter. But how how does Asunta? Rally back. I don't think she should waste any time on on Niwaza, especially from that position. There's no point, right? Okay. 
The drop. I I like to see some more Kazushi there. Both of them. From both of them, really. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. I think she's got the hole down there. This Osakomi is called. Yeah. Is this gonna be it? I don't. Uh, maybe. Maybe traditionally. So she's got that lapel. I think that right lapel. There. That's what's keeping the shoulder down. Pinned to the ground. And I think she's got the lapel. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That was very nice. Uh, let's see if we can unpack what exactly, how this. Hold on, went down. Okay, so here you can see gripping the lapel here. The belt. Okay. We track. So she's still on the lapel. Okay, so she's definitely, that hand is still on that lapel. And she might be grabbing the pants. Which are the, the belts from behind, too. Which is fine by me. That works. Uh, heck of a hold down. So, uh, if I were to tell Laura anything, you got to you gotta break one of the hands off. That That's what's keeping this all attached. So, I think whatever is accessible. <laughs> so, whatever hand you can work on, try to break that grip off of there. That's the best you can do. Uh, the second best is just try to drag her out of bounds. That, will that work? I don't even know if that will work anymore. Maybe that's not the rule anymore, but uh, I'm used to thinking that way. Okay. Uh, but no, definitely fight the hands. Good. Uh, good Ipong by Asunta for sure. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're joined mid match. White in white, Asunta Scuto, the champion, facing off against Leila Alieva from Azerbaijan in the gold medal match. So far, no score has been awarded, no penalties. Let's see how this all unfolds. The crowd seems pretty hyped. Obviously, the Baku crowd is pro Layla. Oh, that's Zach. Okay. Trying to get grips here. Oh, hello. Is this going to be a choke? I think it's going to be a hold down. It's going to be a hold down. Oh, no. Is she going to go for the hold down? I think she is. Or oh, she's going for the choke. No, she got the hold down. This is it. This is it. Oh, she's toast. This is done. Unless she can get that leg. She has to try to uh, entangle that leg. That's the only chance she's got. And I don't think she's going to do it. No, that hand up there is not going to do it. You have to scoop that leg underneath and wrap. It's over. Oh, tough for Layla to lose uh, the gold medal match in front of her home country. But congratulations to Asunta Scuso there for uh, winning with a very nice, nice hold down. I, you know, it's... Let's have a look at that again. This this was actually the setup here. This is actually difficult, very difficult to do to get the rollover. Uh, it takes a lot of flexibility. Yeah, there we go. And really, you know, like the, this works sort of like a makura, right? Like in terms of like you're so folded up that like you don't have a lot of power to um, bridge off of anything. So. Um, Really wraps it up real t nice and tight. I would think that the best you can do is with your right hand here. Try to grab the leg. Grab the pan leg. And just try to scoop. Scoop and um, entangle with your legs. That's the only escape I can really see from that. You know. It, the, the better bet is really just earlier on when it's like. 
when it's like this position, just a flat note, right? And don't let the rollover happen. But so once you get up like that, you kind of make it easier for her to uh, get the uh, hold down. But anyways, your gold medal champion, Leila, no, uh, <laughs> Asunto Scuto, uh, well deserved. Uh, you know, it's a couple hard fought matches, uh, a couple golden scores that she had to go through. Very, I'm sure a very trying uh, tournament for her. Um, and uh, that's your minus 48 women's Baku Grand Slam champion. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great night.